distance from here. But that's why this hand comes there. So I'm right here. I never go, you know, as at this mount here, my hand, if I break down the technique in parts, I'd say that I'm right here. What I like to do, again, my hip is like this, right? Mm -hmm. So the guy has the foot up here. Now I step back, push your leg here, and I'm right here. You know, let's see if that works for you. Otherwise, we, we have, I have another pass. Now I, my hand is dropping. We try to think about that, all right? Try to do like that, and then we do like fast. So my hand is dropping, my elbow is almost closer to my, my knee, and then my knee that was going this way, I redirect to this way, mm. all right? Because everything on my knee was about being like behind his hamstring here. All of a sudden, boom, okay? So now I dropped, and that's what I'm doing, like almost like slow motion. I'm dropped so and then if I try to shrimp here, I yeah, still, uh, I'm still, still done. Yeah, and then my hand comes behind the underhook. That's why, you know, sometimes you here. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. control the knee. Now, you want to push this leg down. You, you don't have this to push it down, right? right? So you go by his kneecap, not behind, but right here. Oh, okay. Right? Then, did you stick your leg under my leg purposely or? Um, this one here? Yeah, well like, because I... No, this one here. Okay. Why? You cannot... Well, no, I, I just uh, was trying to figure out what you did there because... Yeah, so I'm right here, I lock. So usually, I want to I wanna push, I want to straight out your leg pin on the ground. So a lot of times I go like this, here. If I shift a little bit, so I bring my weight over your inner thigh here, right? Mm -hmm. And my head is here. Now I push you by the kneecap, above the kneecap. Look at here. When I push, try to bring your leg up. Okay, yeah, you can. Right? If I hold here, bring your leg yeah, up. Yeah, I can bend. Yeah, even if I'm here, bend it, right? When I go, look at here. This, this is amazing. It's right here. Yes. And then I go, was, your, was your knee, was your right knee on the butt? Was your right knee in the middle of the butt or no? But to open, yeah. Yeah, you know, I open the regular way that it will open. But um, it's, it's right here. You know, my hand is coming right here. Okay, that's the biggest thing, right here. Not, I'm saying kneecap, but it's above the kneecap here. Above the it. Patella, yeah. You know, this is the patella here. So you're going to here. You know, it's like, I, I do like that. You're recording, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times I'm right here, so I move. A lot of times, you know, so I go. Sometimes what I do is I I tripod, I drop my shoulder here, and then I go here. See? And okay. the same thing. So I'm driving my weight here. And then same technique almost like we did. I can bring my knee inside. Okay? But everything I'm pinpointing. My weight. Okay, so that okay, so you tripod. So to do that, you would be you'd be here. This so you back here, you break it like. Well, usually I break. I always move my hand on the middle. Okay, you do that. Mm -hmm. So I keep one hand in the middle, one hand, hand. Yeah, and then I'll keep the hand on my sternum. And more like keep one, keep my elbows closed inside. Yeah, yeah. Now this hand so. This hand comes right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a posture up. The other hand can go on my grip. Here, yeah. Now I'll put one in the middle. Open the other one out. Yeah, now from there, you drop this elbow on the side here. Boom. See? Now this hand, push by my kneecap. Extend it. Push it back. And it's one. Yeah, now you come with your uh, left. You jump around. Your right foot comes right here. Right, no, yeah, you can go like that, keep going, boom. You pass, you know, or you put, we do like what was the windshield wipers, you know. It's on the DVD, <laughs> you know, just to show with him. And then the bird will compensate it to him too. You know, you come, just go here. And then just go back and go come. Half harder. Huh? Just, yeah, that, that is fine. So you open, so you have it here. So in any way, you want exactly. Now you push. Get this leg over and get your uh, right foot over my shin. So this one you jump out. So like that you keep a knee in and just just yeah, right here. Oh, I see. Yeah. Now you keep my 
like a shoulder lined up in the middle of my spine. Blah, blah, blah. No, you can even post this leg out right there. But see how now you pin me even more? Go for my head. Here. Yeah, exactly. And then, for example, you can just like step to the side. If you want to create more pressure, you can come with this hand here, this arm, you know, behind that. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, just slowly. Yeah. There go. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, this is like, yeah, it's awesome. Because when you go with this hand here and this and this hand behind my head, your goal, the guy will let go. It's, it's just so much. Oh my god, right? I still feel it from Thursday. Huh? Yeah, you go like this. Let me go like this. Hi. <laughs> you ready, Doug? <laughs> I'm ready. So, you know, so you say that I'm right here, you know, I get this. Look at here. Look how I trap. And look how this is, we call a life hook. Because my foot is like constantly. Poking you really like you know, see how my knee is mm -hmm. behind your leg? Right. It's like snaking over, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So then I'm right here. So I post it now. This hand goes here. Now look, I'll stay on my toes here <coughs> and, and this toes here too. Okay? And I my goal, of course I'm never gonna be able to do that, but my goal is to get my both hands here. See? So it's right you up one and pass. Okay? Okay. If I keep my foot here and I stretch you out, that creates even more pressure than I'm right here. Mm -hmm. oh, and then I start like going this way. Okay. Everything like boom, wow. So that okay, so that lower hook then. That's one of that's right. I, I see what you did now, that lower hook. Yeah, this hook over here? Yeah. It prevents the guy from getting you in the half guard. Okay. Otherwise, if you just hop it over. Right. I'm going to have to work. Sit here. Mm -hmm. Right here, right here. Right here. Right here. Just yeah, push it. Just push it down. Yep. This goes over here. Nice. Perfect. Awesome. Go for my head. Here. Immediately. Because I'll be fighting. I'll be fighting for this. Here. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now get this under my back. And then I'll, now, look, it's weird because I need to shrimp out, but I don't have this foot on the ground anymore right. to help me to base. Okay? So, and then, now, imagine you want to Touch hands. Yeah, this one with this one. Look at that. Bites. I'll give it to you. You know? Mm -hmm. I'll let you pass because it's just so much pressure. And it's perfect. You gotta do that. Even when you're trying to leather guys. Don't ever release your pressure because I mean, stop doing your game. Yeah. You know, you can Well the trouble the trouble with me is if I put too much pressure on the guys in here, they tap right away. <laughs> no, but you know when you pass and you have to do because otherwise you're just creating a bad habit. Your muscle memory will be like to not whenever you need and roll with somebody heavier, it's just not gonna be there. Mm -hmm. You know, you lose the. I, I not that I crush who I train with that much, but at some moments I, I, I just like I, I have the control. I do what I have to do. Even like I could have done like last, or but I still like put pressure because. I don't want to, whenever I need, uh, don't have the muscle memory to apply those things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I like to pass like that a lot. You know, and I try pod and pinpoint a lot my 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 weight. You know, I say I take my butt and knees off the floor and then drive shoulder in the middle or shoulder in the middle or like you know Glover uh, was telling you like head forehead on the you know the body. Yeah, he always had me keep my yeah. forehead. On the it's just like you know my neck. I cannot prevent that, but sometimes I use my head and my shoulder. So I do a combination of my head on the guy's armpit and my shoulder in the middle, but it has to be in the middle of the body, you know. So this way you crush your ribs, you crush the sternum, something like that. No. So you're on your knees and the guy has you in a butterfly. Mm -hmm. Those knees. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you just do you just roll up and do that same move that we did? That you no, I, usually I do like this. I'll show you. You require a little bit more hips, you know, but say that first thing, like every time you're in the half in the butterfly, you cannot stay in the middle. Because I cannot, I, I, I don't want to give you the two options mm -hmm. to attack me to this way, to attack me to this way. So I get in, and again, here he has a better guard than if I'm here, right? But I don't want to be like this, right? This I'm giving, like holding your legs, like wrapping here, like what many people do. Um, okay, I'll show you guys after that. You know, I swing 
I rock the guy side to side until I get my foot out and go for my plata. You know, so I'm here. So I want to be here. You know, so this is like always tight. My hand is all on the ground. Because hand on the ground, he can attack me. So I'm here now. To prevent that 50-50% situation here, I shift. See? Mm -hmm. So I'm shifting here. So you're not worried about getting swept, swept that way? No, because I, I, I'm, I'm really aware that he can do that. I can always pull his leg out. And now that's when my passage starts. Okay? So I'm right here. You know, control this. Yeah, now at this side, I can have my arm here. Okay? Okay? Here. Alright? So I'm always, I can hold, hold, uh, hold your ankle. And this side here, but not on this side. This side is a big, big thing up here. Hey, what's up, Jeff? Right? So I can, I can be here, right? Now, many ways I can do, if I want to pinpoint pressure, I'm right here, right? 